Okay, so Q is always followed by a U. So Q never comes alone. We have done milk truck rule. We have done now many jobs of E. If we take many jobs of E, we know that E is coming for magic E, where cup becomes cube. With soft C and soft G, we have where the hard sound of C and hard sound of G, uh, G becomes soft as S and J. Then E is always there after V, L, U, and Z. They don't stand alone in the word. Sorry, V, I, U, and Z. So V will always have E at the end. U will always have, mostly have E at the end. There can be few, few exceptions. Freeze, Z will always have E at the end. And I will also have E at the end. So from okay. they save the word from, they, uh, they save the letter from being the last letter. What and are the letters is that, ma'am? Is that? It's there, point number three, V, I, U, and Z. Are you able to see the screen? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No. No. Oh. Okay. Now. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So let me start again. Yes. So Q is always followed by U. Then many trucks will be have done and many jobs of silent E. So E will always come uh, to say it's, uh, to make the vowel say its name. That is magic E rule. Cup becomes cube. Okay. So hit becomes hide. Then with soft C and soft G, E makes it soft. Instead of K and G, it will say S and J. Then V, I, U, and Z, they don't like to stand at the end, so they take E. Then sometimes E is uh, added so that you uh, it shows that the word is not plural. So in the word dense, if you remove E, then it will be dense, which is a plural of den. But we want to show that it's not that dense, the plural of den. So E is there. Okay. Then we have... Whenever you have E after TH, so it makes voiced sound, okay? When you don't have E, it is unvoiced. So when you don't have E, it is cloth. But the moment E comes, it becomes cloth. So it becomes the breathe. Okay, if E is not there, it's breathe. Right? It's breathe. But E makes it what? Breathe. Okay, so the voice comes when E is there. Also, for all the words having the syllable UL sound, so that comes from LE. Yesterday we discussed schwa, where you have LE, it is UL sound, U H L. So that means L is LE is making the schwa UL sound. Okay, so then L. E will be there. So these are the uh, these are the many jobs of E. We call it okay. Then we have wild old words, which says that uh, normally O makes short O sound and I makes short E sound, but with L D N D, okay L T, okay S T, it is making long sound so it's not gold but gold it's not told but told it's not kind but kind it's not pinned but find okay then j is spelled d g e defender d it when a word ends in d g e whenever you have d g e the d stops the e from making the wall says its name Okay, we know that E, what it does, it does the magic and long sound comes. So it's not badge, but it's page because E is doing the magic and changing the short sound to the long sound. But D comes to stop that magic happening. Okay, so that's why we call it Defender D. 
So when B comes, E is not powerful to do the magic and change the short sound to the long sound. And that's why it's bridge and not bridge. Okay, the short sound is protected by the wall defender D and the same is with TCH. We have done bossy R rule. So R control walls. We have done the schwa. And we have done CK rules. So after a short sound, we, hear, we find C and K both. And C takes A, O, U. K takes E, I, N, Y. K comes after a consonant or after a long sound or after bossy R also. This is all we have done. Okay. Then, so as we said that D becomes the defender. So, badge, hedge, bridge, dodge, smudge. So, D protects the wall from the magic E rule. And the same way TCH, T will protect Catch, fetch, stitch, blotch, clutch. But there will be few exceptions like such, much, rich and which are exceptions to this rule. That there is no defender T but still it is short sound. Okay. So TCH. Mostly you will see that it's a short sound. So, T, C, H is there. But if it is a consonant, then only C, H is there. Or if it is a long sound, then only C, H is there. But there are few exceptions. So, rich, much, such, rich and sandwich are few exceptions. Otherwise, when it is a short sound, you use T, C, H. And when it is not a short sound and any other sound like a long sound, long vowel sound or a consonant sound, then we use only C, H. So, when you have, please mute yourself. Sorry. So, suffix follows a similar set of Y rules. We have done Y. So, we know that if there is a vowel, then we don't change it and just put the suffix ing, like in the word playing and annoying. We don't change anything. So, if there is a vowel before Y, we don't change anything but if it is a consonant followed immediately by y then we change the y to i right so in the word carried happiest so y is changed to i now we know that i is shy to stand at the last so tuffy y comes in but now in the word carried because it is now e sound is not at the end so i is no more shy to stand at last so tuffy y goes away and I is back because I doesn't feel shy to stand in middle. I feel shy to stand in the at the last. So in the word carry, I I went away and Y came. Why? Because I is shy to stand at last. But in the word carried, because E sound is not at the end, so now I is no more shy and so it is back. Same is the case in happiest. Okay. But when the suffix begins with I, now what will happen if there is already an I? And we all we have an another I, so two I never come together, and that is the reason why we have to we cannot remove that Y, as in the word flying and babyish. So because you cannot have I I together, and I have to add an I because that's the first letter of my suffix. So because I have to add an I, I cannot put I cannot take that uh, I cannot write that I. So, I will not remove Y. For any other suffix, I will remove Y because there is no need. I is not shy to stand in the middle. So, I is back. But if I has to come and there is another I, that cannot happen. So, I will not come back and it will let Y there. Okay. And then we have, so here is the example. Cry. So, because it is... Um, a consonant there. So, I have to add I-E-S. So, Y cannot come with I. But in the word crying, because I have to add I, so two I's cannot be there and Y remains there. 
If it is one eye, it's okay. In the middle, one eye can come. But in the middle, two eyes cannot come. So that's why if there has to be a need of two eye, then one eye will come and one Y will come. Okay. So many jobs of Y. So Y is in the, if Y is coming in the beginning of a word, then it behaves as a consonant, which is making the consonant your sound. But when it comes in the middle or at the end, it it is a vowel. It makes the sound of a vowel. That's why we call, we call Y as a partial consonant and partial vowel. It, it, if it is coming in the beginning, it's a consonant. If it is coming at the end or in the middle, it behaves like a uh, vowel because it gives the sound of E or I or long E. Okay. So in the word gym, it is short E sound. In the word fly, it is long I sound. In the word, whenever you have EY, it's always long E sound. EY has only one sound, that is E. Okay. In the word navy, so again, Y is having long E sound. We know that when there are two syllables, this we did on the first day. If you have two syllables, then Y gives a long E sound. But if it is only one syllable, then it gives I sound as in the word fly. NFL rule, we don't teach the student because it's very, very confusing. So we teach the word as a uh, tricky word. Because here it is written when the Y is at the end of a word and follows N, F or L. Okay. Like in the word reply, it is L. And the word is a verb. Reply is verb action then it makes the sound of long i but it's very difficult for the child to remember okay if they can remember you can tell that when you have a, an action word it should be an action word like reply okay and there you have n f or l just before y then it is making i sound so just now we have done that if there are two syllables it is long e sound but if there are two vowels and it's an action word having L, N or F, then it doesn't give the long E sound, but it gives the sound of F. Uh, I'm sorry, I. Long uh, I sound. Now, O-U-G-H. O-U-G-H is a tetragraph. Four letters giving uh, one sound. That's a tetragraph. Now, that it's very difficult to remember because O-U-G-H can actually make many sounds. So, there's a story being put here and we, if we teach this story to the children, they will learn through the story the different sounds of O-U-G-H. So, a bird sat on a... Can you read? A bird sat on a... Two examples are given so you can predict the pronunciation. A bird sat on a blouse. The bird sat on a bough, gave a call. Has he ate the dough that was too tough to go through? And he thought to be more thorough, but it made him echo. It's hiccup. Yes. So there are so many sounds. Ow, of, o, of, u, o, and then thoro, o, and then hiccup, up sound. So this is a story we teach the children so that they remember. And thankfully, there are not many words with OUGH. So these are the few words which are there for OUGH. Most of the words are here. So you can place this table in the class. Then comes where should we place A-B-L-E and where should we place I-B-L-E. So most of the times it is A-B-L-E. Okay, end of word with A-B-L-E if the root word has a hard C. But because we know that if it is a soft C, C comes with E-I-Y and that's why it's not able but it is able. Okay, like reducible. Now why it is able? Because reduce... It's a soft sound. And we know that C becomes soft with E-I-Y. So, A cannot come. Okay. Also, after double S, we have I-B-L. 
and when we have an incomplete root word, there also IBL is there. So, complete word is called a base word. When you have a base word and then you add a suffix, it is A-B-L-E. But if it is not a base word, then it is I-B-L. But there are exceptions. So, exceptions are given here. So, you can see add I-B-L-E to the end when you don't have a root word, complete word. And add able for a complete word. So, fashion is a complete word. It becomes fashionable. But if it is not a complete word, we use able. Now, when should we use A-N-C-E, E-N-C-E, A-N-C-Y, E-N-C-Y? When should we use? So, we have to take the root word. Okay. For example, if the root word is vibrant, so A-N-T is there. So, definitely, if you remove T and you have to make it vibrant, it will be A-N-C-E because the root word has A. So, it will be vibrant A-N-C-E. So, you have to see to the root word which is there. Okay. When the base word is a word, okay, U-R-E or E-A-R, then also we use A-N-C-E. Okay. If the root if the root word or the base word ends with Y, then also we use, use A-N-C-E. If the base word is a verb that ends in E-R-E, then we remove the E and add. So, as I told you, the base word, if it is having A, it will be A-N-C. If the base word has E, then it will be E-N-C. Okay, like here you can see absent, it has E. So, it will be E and C E. And if the word has A and T, then it will have A and C E. From adjectives, when we change to noun, so confident again, E and C E. And important is A, so A and C E. Now, where, where do we use I O U S and where do we use E O U S? I-O-U-S is more common, but there is no strict rule. And these both form adjectives. So, both suffix can be pronounced as us. It is us sound. Okay. Whether it is I-O-U-S or E-O-U-S, it is best to learn these adjectives in groups by spelling and pronunciation. So, both, these, both of these endings are used to form adjectives. So, caution becomes cautious, hidden becomes hideous. So, words ending with I-O-U-S are far more common than those ending in E-O-U-S. Okay, mostly it is I-O-U-S. There are very, very few words with E-O-U-S, but unfortunately, there are no set rules which can help you choose the correct one. So, what we can do, we can give them the list of the words because there are very few words. So, these are the words with I-O-U-S and these are the words with E-O-U-S. Now, when does S-I-O-N makes jun sound? Whenever you have S followed by vowel, then it gives the sound of Z, okay? So, S-I-O-N makes jun sound when you have a vowel. And if it is a consonant, it makes shun sound. Shun will also come after letter N, L, S, E, D, D, E, M, I, T. There's a chart. I'll show that chart. So, mostly it will be the sound of shun, except ln. So let's see this. When you have s e, like in the word precise, okay. When you have d, like in the word extend, so it becomes extension, okay. If a word ends in s e, just remove s e. If a word ends in d, d e l r s d, we have to add. S I N, okay. Like in the word instruct. Now instruct has C T. T is a C consonant. So it is T I O N. Reflect C consonant reflection. Now revulsion after L, it is S I O N. 
after n we have to use dictionary nation after a long vowel it is t i o n transmit after a short vowel it could be either t i o n or s i o n again we need to use the dictionary i'll just give you another uh, a little more clear chart for this this one so whatever i was saying is brief here so let's see this one when should we use tion tion is the most common ending and they are all nouns okay cin is coming with the profession occupation job like optician politician musician and sion is coming when you have d d e s e l like in the word collide becomes collision comprehend so d is changing to d will never change to s i o n uh, t i o n d will always be replaced by s i o n similarly if already s is there then it will be s i o n infusion okay and when do we use double s if the word already has double s like in the word discuss it has double s so discussion will also have double s okay confession because confess has two s so confession will also have two s obsess has two s so obsession will also has two s will also have two s whenever you have mit like admit submit permit remit then you cannot have t i o n it will be s i o n double s i o n same is the case with c e d e or double c double e d okay so s i o n can give jeune sound if you have a vowel before s explosion which is the vowel before s in the word explosion o oh. yes so it it will give a jan sound because the s is surrounded by vowels revision again we have before s i i is a vowel and after s also we have vowels so it's surrounded by vowels so it gives jan sound but if it is not a vowel and a consonant like l n r then it is giving shan sound okay and t i o n is most is the most common one okay action position station so with l n r we are using s i o n other than that we are using t i o n and if it is a vowel surrounded s then it gives jan sound that's the brief of everything okay this one is very easy that c i l or t i l c i l will be after a vowel like in the word facial a is a vowel beneficial i is a vowel crucial u is a vowel and we use t i l after a cons consonant so confidential martial celestial but yes there can be some exceptions now american versus british spelling differences now there are there there's a confusion many a times with the word like color is it c o l o r or c o l o u r so both are correct because one is american and one is british so this is a common chart where mostly uh it is amar if it is american it will be different and if it is british it will be different okay but both the spellings are correct like if in the word defense american english it is s and in british english it is c so in american english we have mostly s e whereas in british we have c e same we have center both the spellings are correct so e r goes with american english r e goes with british C O L O R Y. We are doing it correct now because that that's in American English. But generally, we follow British English, so that's why we write C O L O U R. Same is the case with the word favorite. Same is the case with the word neighbor. Then, in American, we don't double the letter, whereas in the British, uh, English, we double the letter, like in the word jewelry. okay in the word pajamas it is y but in american it is pajamas okay we write flo but here o u g h in british so these this you need to just learn okay
Then there's a rule which says I before E except after C. So C in the word achieve, believe, breathe, achieve, it is I E. But in the word receive, it is E I. Why? If it is C, you have to use E I. But if it is any other word, you have to write I E for E long E sound. Achieve, believe, brief, chief, queen, hygiene, grief. Okay. Now, also with the words that rhyme with hey, like in the word freight, bay, wait, vain, way, neighbor. But there are again exceptions like either, neither, fiend, foreign, four feet. So we are having EI without a C. These are exceptions like in the word height, leisure, weird, C's. But mostly when C is there, we use EI. And the simplest to tell the children is if you see a C, use EI. And if it is not C, then use IE to give E sound. Okay. And tell them that there can be exceptions, but mostly this is followed. So A sound can also come with EI. Like in freight, bay, wait, vein, neighbor. Now, when does ED gives D sound, T sound and ID sound? ED, the letter ED can make three sounds. If you look at this ED, it can give three sounds. It can be D, it can be T or it can be ID sound. So, let's see when do we have the sound of If the word ends with a vocal voiced consonant sound, okay, then the ending ed sounds d, okay. But if it is unvoiced. Now first you have to understand what is voiced and unvoiced. What is voiced and what is unvoiced? Can anyone tell me that in the word live, it is lived. But in the word jump, it is jumped. So it is the sound of letter T. It is not jumped. It's jumped. So, the rule is saying that when you have a voiced sound, okay, lived has a voiced sound, okay, and jumped has unvoiced. So, can anyone explain me what is voiced and unvoiced? Why we are saying that V is voiced and P is unvoiced? Why we are saying that V is voiced and No idea, ma'am. Unvoiced. Ma'am, uh, it's related to the tongue. If the tongue touches the upper jaw, it is voiced. No. No? Okay. When you say V, mm. there's a vibration. Mm. Yeah. A buzzing, humming kind of sound is there. Mm. Mm. But when I say P, is that is that humming sound coming with P? Is that humming sound coming with P? No. 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 So when that humming sound is not there, it is unvoiced. But when that humming sound is there, it is voiced. So when it is voiced, we use uh, we uh, say the the. But when it is unvoiced, when there is no humming sound, then we say Okay. And if you have a word which ends the letter, the word has the last letter as D or T, then definitely it's very difficult for you say, to say da da or ta ta. You cannot say, right? So that's why it gives the id sound, like in the word sided, parted. Okay.
Now, so this is the chart where you can see unvoiced and voiced. So when you say there is no humming sound, k, no humming, p, no humming, t, no humming, uh, th, no humming. But when you say b, b, b. d, g, l, in all these sounds you have this humming and that's why it is giving you uh, now here it's very interesting to note that if you have s after unvoiced it is simply s, like pops makes talks jumps slaps eats visits unearth unearths s is coming but the moment you have the voiced humming then S makes the Z sound. So it's not grabs, it's grabs. Please mute yourself, there's some noise coming. Grabs, no, it's grabs. It's not stabs, but it's stabs. It's not stands, but it's stands. Okay, sorry, it's not stands, but it stands. So with humming sounds, with voice sounds, S gives the sound of letter Z, Z. And whenever you have ES, it now you have to see for ES, if it is unvoiced, then it is S, the sound of S. But if it is voiced, it will be is, like chances. It's not chances, it's chances. Z is coming. Mrs. Z is coming. Passes. Z. Watches. Judges. Pleases. Chooses. Washes. Wishes. Messages. Okay. So, when you have ending word as S. Okay. C-H- J, Z, T-H, then it is giving you is sound. So we also call them as hissing sounds. Okay, like double S is a hissing sound. C-H is a hissing sound. Or soft C or soft G is there. Okay. In simple words, what we can say, when you have E-S, Okay, just before S or any hissing sound, then S becomes Z. Okay. Any doubt? Okay, now this is a long topic which cannot be covered in 10 minutes. So today we are going to do this much. I've recorded the session. Just go to the session again. Okay. And many many have not joined and also. So they will watch the recording. And this labication, I've shared the PDF with you. So go through this also. Tomorrow we'll be discussing this. Okay. And you can tell me your doubts. Ma'am, I haven't received yesterday's... Uh... It is there in the group. You are there in the group, na? Yes, ma'am, but I haven't come across anything. What you did not receive yesterday's recording, I have shared. You have shared? Ma'am, I'll just check that. Yes. Ma'am, it's on YouTube? You have put this on YouTube? 